This week, Apple released iOS 18.3 with a few changes to Apple intelligence. If you have an iPhone 16 with that camera control button, the visual intelligence can now be used to add events to your calendar. So if you hold down the camera control button and you point the camera at an event poster, it's gonna prompt if you want to add that event to your calendar. The visual intelligence should also better identify plants and animals. But there's also been a change to those AI summaries. Now they are in italics, so you can quickly tell if it's an AI summary and not the actual message. You can also turn them off from the lock screen. Notifications from news and entertainment apps, yeah, they're not gonna be automatically summarized anymore by AI. This comes after the BBC reported that Apple inaccurately summarized its news headlines. There's also been a lot of headlines about how 18.3 turns on Apple intelligence by default for everyone, but that kind of sounds like everyone has to use AI and it really is still just a toggle switch. I had Apple intelligence turned off, then after I updated the iPhone, it remained off for me. And even if you do have an older iPhone without AI, you should still update it to bring back a feature to the calculator. Because now if you hit the equal sign in the calculator app, it's gonna repeat the operation as many times as you hit it. The iPhone took this away in September's iOS 18 update, but hey, it's back now.